So one more time, the nth term test says that if we have an infinite series that is convergent, then the limit of the uh, sequence e sub n is equal to zero. The converse of this statement, of this statement right here, is not true, meaning the statement, if we reversed it, if we say that the limit, if the limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then the series is convergent. This is false. This is not a true statement. And here's an example. The harmonic series, and if we, uh, is the series of one plus a half plus a third plus a four and a plus a fourth, and so on. For this series, e sub n is one over n. The limit of e sub n, which is the limit of the sequence one over n, be one over infinity, which is equal to zero. So the limit of a sub n is equal to zero, but we know that the harmonic series diverges to infinity. And to see this, look in an earlier video on harmonic series and why it diverges. In that video, uh, we have shown that this uh, harmonic series here diverges to infinity. So in this example, we have shown that the limit of a sub n goes to zero, but the uh, corresponding infinite series diverges to infinity. And so this statement, once again, is false. So we cannot say that if the limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then the infinite series is convergent. So when the, uh, so what it says is that the limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then this infinite series here may or may not converge. And so the, uh, the statement, this statement right here, we can say that if the uh, limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then the infinite series may or may not converge. We looked at this series, this geometric series earlier, and we know that this uh, geometric series, the uh, limit of a sub n is equal to zero, and the series converges. And so when the series, when the uh, sequence, the series one over n diverges, but the limit of a sub n is equal to zero. But the series 0 0.4 over n converges, and the limit of a sub n is equal to zero. So one more time, when the limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then the corresponding infinite series may or may not converge. So we have to do some uh, we have to do some investigation to see if the series converge or not. So if the limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then we need to do investigation to see if the series Verges or not. 
So once we have determined that the limit of the sequence a sub n is equal to zero, and then we need to do investigation to see if the series converges or not. So we cannot say that if the uh, limit of a sub n is equal to zero, then the series converges. We cannot say that because the series may converge or may not converge. We have to do investigation to determine if the uh, infinite series converges or not.